I have taken a canister just like this right here, and there was a little bit smaller canister, just the same thing. It's all stainless steel that fits just in the inside of it. It's all insulated. I've taken these guys right here. It's stainless steel. It's actually for those little solar light thingy lights. And I've fit it a honeycomb deal in the bottom of one of these which I've cut one exactly like that and put a grid of holes through it and fit just a bunch of them in it inside it and then I've also got the one that just about the same size as this just a little bit a little bit uh, smaller in diameter that well crap that's insulated from the outside of the canister and you can see the insulation right over there it's not touching anything and I've also got some of these guys this one's not conditioned this one hasn't been filed or anything cut to a certain length about an inch and three quarters this set four of them in between the inner element to the outside of the outermost line which is all insulated to the outside of this guy and <laughs> yeah a lot of work to do on that but it still works Nobody needs a lot of fossil food, fossil fuel. I'm probably getting, I don't know, a lot more than I've seen online. a lot of gas. <laughs> you know, I'm just over here touching the top of this. That's why you're hearing that noise. It's funny. That's a lot of fire. Little mass. And that's it. That's more than I've seen out of anyone else's online. And I'm kind of freaked out to put it in my truck. If anybody could help out with this, please do. And I'm still <laughs> using baking soda. How many people know what that is? And there's that flask again.